up everyone thank you for tuning in so today i'm going to be talking about a company i came across about a day or two ago called boosted nw they seem to be a company that's going to be filling in the shoes for moats now for those of you guys who don't know who moats was they uh, unfortunately went under last year they were kind of like your go-to um business to when it came down to like acquiring hardware to be able to tune and chipped obd1 ecu like all the stuff that you would need for like you know your sst chips your chip burners your data loggers like your hue log or your Mo moats ostrich for like uh, your emulators as well as other hardware like capacitors and stuff like for your ecu if you're going to be refurbishing a, an ecu for whatever reason uh, all your different cables and so pretty much like if you wanted to tune a honda D series, B series, H series, um, or whatever I didn't mention there, on a budget uh, without going to standalone. This, these were the guys to go to, and they've, you know, their products and stuff and their designs have been used for years. They were pretty much like made hardware that bridges the gap between your ECU and being able to tune on Chrome, Honda Tuning Suite, Neptune, etc. So before I get into this, uh, I'll let you guys know right now, I have no affiliation. I, don't have, I have not communicated with anybody from this company. They are not paying me. They have not offered me anything in return for me to basically promote their product on this uh, YouTube channel. So I'm honestly just doing this for the fact that I'm just like really happy that there's a company like this doing this, kind of keeping that moat style, uh, budget friendly tuner hardware you know, going especially in a day and age where standalone ECUs are getting a much better with like, you know, m more flexible software and, you know, kind of coming down to a lower price point. Um, again, I, I don't see any of this stuff to where like you need to pay like Honda data on up prices to be able to tune like a bolt on B series or a bolt on D series or whatever you're doing, or even like a mildly boosted, uh, vehicle whatever application you know like in my personal opinion if you know what you're doing if you have a tuner that knows what they're doing and honestly for as long as chrome and neptune and hts and that style of like uh tuning softwares exist there's going to be a lot more guys out there that has more experience with that than would be like let's say field tech hall tech and stuff like that not saying they don't exist not saying people can adapt and it's a lot you know it's an easy jump to be able to work with those tuning softwares but it's just good to see that there's still people providing hardware to be able to utilize uh you know tuning software such as like hts chrome neptune and so on i, I digress anyway so boosted nw so this is i've kind of glanced over their page when i discovered them i didn't really go in depth with it so you guys are going to be on a long ride with me through this so i'm on all products so so cool replacement cables that's freaking awesome because i honestly i don't even remember moat selling replacement cables by themselves i'm sure they could i'm sure they did i might have just not remembered it's been so long but i mean like yeah like if you break one of those pins right there off that cable like you're screwed there's no way you can run a hue log so i'm not saying i've done it but i've been like really careful every time i would plug it and unplug it <laughs> so that looks like thousand injectors ls2 okay so it looks like these are like new custom boot okay i'm going to assume this is like decap gm ls injectors so if you guys follow hunter tuned uh go follow hunter tune if you don't um he kind of does the same thing with his hunter tune decapped uh ls injectors Let's see boost nw chip burner okay so this is kind of like the ch uh, chip two i believe it was called like chip burner two the moat version of it obviously different colored you know their logo on it and i'll actually cover that too because i'm sure you guys are going to be seeing some of their products and going like man that's pretty much a moat version of this and that with their name on it i'll read you something that they said themselves that um kind of responds to that at the end of this video so h log so this would be like their hue log okay real time chip emulator so that would be similar to the ostrich coming soon chip adapter capacitors i mean this yeah this basically looks like what moats used to look like except the background's white <laughs> Okay, ECU boost by gear service. That's pretty cool. So cool. Like I love how they already offer ECU services because I mean all these ECUs are like ancient at this time. Make on um, on data base map. Maybe. Okay, two of three pages. If my internet. Okay, there we go. Version two. Oh, cool! Looks like they they have some moat stuff in stock left over. 
well, after this video, I doubt any of this stuff will stay will be in stock, but who knows? Again, they're like pretty much making like their version of it that um, according to them, it's gonna be as good if not better. Like one of the things I've heard too is like their chip burner will, will be able to chip or will be able to burn fake SST chips, which is pretty cool. Oh, they sell turbos. That's pretty neat. And copper header gaskets for B series and two different sizes for D series. Okay, on the four bar map sensor. On the chipping services. 100 bucks to chip. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Well, at the end of the day, shipping prices, if you were in the lower 48 states, I mean, like, I would I would assume, depending on who you mail it through, <laughs> under 150 bucks there and back. I'm assuming. I could be wrong. But even if it was 200 altogether after all was said and done, that's still not bad. Awesome. Yeah, no, this is really neat. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Um, all right, so I'm gonna read you. I'm gonna like cut out due to like privacy sake and you know all that good stuff. <laughs> but I'll read you basically their response to a couple of the comments in regards to them copying a lot of like the moats designs as far as like the casing and the stuff that they made that pretty much does the same thing that all the moat stuff did. So kind of clear you know cl clear that stuff up for you guys. So, from Boosted NW themselves, the Moats guys have no interest on continuing or helping anyone continue any of their products. Uh, this was stated because somebody asked pretty much like, are you working with the Moats guys to keep it going or, or reverse engineering and copying their designs? That was their response to it. Sorry, I, should have pro I probably should have said it like that first. So again, back to Boosted NW's response. Also, there is no copying. If anyone knows why Moats was out of stock on most thing months before, they finally closed down. It was because they could not get components and chips to build their products anymore. It would have required a complete product redesign. So that makes total sense. I mean, that whole shipping crisis and, you know, the whole chip shortage going around nationwide, if not worldwide, you know, that's a, that, that definitely was and kind of is a, a real thing. With that in mind, we have done that complete product redesign. I read that like all stupid. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, so, here. so with that in mind, we have done that complete product redesign, created our own replacements with new components slash chips that are actually available and made them similar only by the cases used as they are cheap, readily available off the shelf cases that anyone can buy. And they are just nice, compact and convenient. Yes, they are. Also, we had to write all of our own code. So no, there is no copying aside from it looks similar due to the cases used. Okay, so that makes total sense. I mean, like, um, you know, I guess most of you guys that don't know, like when people like have their own product designs, especially when it comes down to like chips or whatever, like especially you look on Amazon. If you ever look at Amazon stuff and notice there's like certain, I'm just throwing some random item out there. So like, like, like a backpack, for example, and you see, keep seeing like the backpacks that are like almost pretty much spot on or use the same freaking uh, straps or the same zippers or whatever. It's like, there's going to be some stuff on there that it's like, they're not going to be able to source it out anywhere else. Like they may change the color of the bag or change the hardware of the bag, but like it'll have a different weird Chinese name on it. Like guarantee you, you get two bags with, made by two different Chinese companies. I guarantee you they're going to share like more than 50% of like hardware and items on it. So what I'm trying to say is, so these guys may have like reprogrammed, um, uh, not reprogram, recoded their own chips to be able to do things that we may have had, you know, issues with in the past with the most, with the moat stuff to where now it's, you know, more compatible with, you know, certain stuff that we've more likely had issues with in the past. But as far as like just the casings themselves, it's kind of like, why would they source out another, you know, person just to fit their chip into that case, if that makes any sense. So, um, I totally get, you know, at face value, why people would think they're copying, but I mean, it makes total sense. Like why would they use any other design if it was known to work after all these years that modes have used it? So there you guys go. Um, 
Again, uh, if you have any questions, like don't ask me, I'll leave a link down in the, in the description down below. I'll leave you a link uh, to where I found all the talk about this stuff because uh, they're actually, you know, obviously promoting their stuff on all the various like Honda uh, pages to try to get their stuff out there. So um, I haven't bought anything from these guys yet. They do have a Bluetooth um, CN2 thing that I'm interested in getting. So I'll see how that works out. But yeah, if you guys order anything from these guys and you get it, let me know how it works. Let me know if it works as good as the Moat stuff or better. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.